All across Europe, the need for research is increasing, and the need for young researchers to carry this out is vital for Europe's future. As a young person, this career option could seem daunting at first, but the guys at Marie Curie Actions know this, and they want to help. Their initial training networks aim to make this a more accessible and attractive career option by offering great ways of developing the skills and experiences necessary to join this ever-growing and exciting field. SAPRO is one of these ITNs. Its mission is to help find a way of controlling this organism called Saprolegnia. It causes one of the biggest problems in European agriculture, so it's a pretty big deal. To help it on its mission, a team of partners with young researchers from all over the world came together to collaborate on the project. The network was awarded 2.5 million euros to allow this to happen, and the generous funding also allows the researchers to travel around the world, attending lectures and workshops, and to meet experts in the field. Our uh, twice a year meetings and workshops at Scotland, we were also training in techniques that give us uh, a very good advantage. SAPRO also works very closely with their industrial partner, which gives their young researchers hands-on training in a professional environment, bridging the gap between academia and business. So through the ITN scheme, not only are projects like SAPRO able to carry out their research, but the people involved can work in international teams and develop into the experienced and top quality researchers of the future. And who can we thank for all of this? But Marie Curie Actions and their initial training network scheme.